or some type of container until I'm able to wash them. And then I wash them with micellar water. And I just use any old inexpensive brand of micellar water. And then I like to use a brush and sponge cleaner. But this is the Ultos brand. And then I like to use the Aquaphor baby shampoo. Sometimes I will use a little Dawn detergent. It just depends. But I like this um, because it's real sensitive and soft on my brushes. And then I have a bar of Dove soap that I use to clean my brushes with as well. And then the last thing I use is a brush cleaner. And then I have a towel here to set my brushes on to dry. So now I'm going to reposition my camera to my sink so that you all can see how I actually clean the brushes um, while in the sink. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to just fill my sink with some warm water. Not fill it completely, but enough to soak my brushes around a little bit. And I'm going to pour in a little micellar water. <clears throat> and that's just enough to cover the rim, the bottom of the bowl sink. And then I'm going to go in with my Ulta brush cleaner. I'm going to pour a little bit of that in here. And then I'm going to use some of my Aquaphor uh, baby wash and shampoo. And again, I left this on my brushes. So I'm going to squirt a couple of pumps in here. About five pumps because it really doesn't take much. And I like this because it doesn't lather up and cause a whole lot of suds in my brushes that can be hard to get out. So next I'm going to take my sponges and just let them sit over in the solution and kind of saturate them a bit because what I'm going to do I'm going to take, take everything back out of it the solution while I'm cleaning the brushes I only use this method to kind of saturate them in the solution that I'm using so I'm trying to get my sponges really good and saturated Okay, and you can see it's already coming out in the uh, sponges as well. So next what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to take the sponges out after I take the brushes out. And I'm going to have them mostly all face down according to how they uh, need to be inserted into the solution. So after that, I'm going to just stick my brushes over in the solution. And I don't worry about them getting too, too wet because I'm going to take them right back out. This just allows me to be able to um, have most of the product already moved outside of the brushes by the time I start to clean them with the soap. So next, after those have set for a couple of seconds and kind of saturate the brushes as well in the solution. I'm going to take them, actually take them out and put them back in the bowl that I took them out of since they already have the solution, the shampoo, the micellar water, and the Ulta shampoo saturated in the brushes. That way they're not sticking in solution for a long period of time and your brushes will start falling out of your brushes because that can happen if you leave your brushes soaked and liquids. Especially water. Okay, so I just try to make sure they're just fully saturated. Like I did the, the um, sponges. Okay, so. And especially these eyeliner brushes and eyebrow pomade brushes and stuff. You want to make sure you get those really well. Because sometimes that stuff can stick. Uh, in, in your brushes.
Okay, now that that's done and these sponges are fully saturated, I'm going to go ahead and let the water out of the sink. Run some clean water just so I can start the cleaning process. Um, but I'll go ahead and squeeze the sponges out with the solution that's in here and get the um, product out of the sponges from the shampoo and the micellar water and the brush soap by Ulta. And I like to squeeze my sponges until you can tell there is no more liquid in the center of your sponge because you have like a tough little circle in the middle of it or something but I like to squeeze until I feel there's no lump or liquid or syrup or anything on the inside of my sponge okay so what I want to do now is run this across my soap my um, beauty blender across the Dove soap just add a little more water Okay, give it something to kind of work with. Okay, and so now I'm going to just clean it a little bit more. And I'll do this for each one of my sponges. Now some sponges, I will say, are easier to clean than others. Uh, and I believe this is a beaten sponge from Amazon. So... It's requiring a little bit more to clean, but they are some great affordable sponges. Um, I believe you get around eight or ten of them for like nine dollars or something around that ballpark. But it's not too too much where you can't, you know, get them clean like you want them to. But they really clean. They really perform well, and they're not that hard to clean. Okay, so I've gotten everything out of here. This one. So I'm going to work on the other two. And this is a Juno um, blender, so this one really didn't take that long to clean. Okay, so. And plus I like the way the, the, um, the Dove smells when you have clean sponges. <laughs> I know that may sound weird, but... I like the way it smells when you apply product and you smell that fresh dove scent. Okay, so I think that do we do it for this one? It's looking like it. I'm sorry, my arm is all in the way. And then this one here is a beauty bakery blender which I love. I caught them on sale at Ulta. I think they were like nine dollars and then I had an extra 20% off coupon so I bought two packs of them and I've been loving these sponges. They are easy to clean as well. They don't require a lot to clean them. The product comes right out of them. They're real soft and I've been using this one for quite a but maybe about a month or so and I know they say you're supposed to change them out but I don't change mine unless they're really just worn out because I'm very clean and keep my brushes and um, sponges clean before every applicator. So I'm okay with using it past the timeline that, you know, they say you should switch out your tools and, you know, um, and start a new applicator. But I'm okay with that because I keep my stuff fairly clean. And this is just the real techniques. Um, complexion like scrubber sponge and I like this to use when I'm putting like um, exfoliants and stuff on my face and I'll use this to kind of gently scrub uh, any you know um, makeup and stuff off when I'm using those scrubs or whatever for this type of sponge and I've had this sponge for quite some time too and I'm sorry but I'm right handed so I'm sorry if my arm is in the way uh, the view. I'm trying to keep it out of the camera as much as possible. So I do want to apologize in advance for that. I should have put the camera on the other side. And I may just move it um, so that you all can see when I do the actual pressure. 
And I think I'm gonna do that. So let's just hang tight one minute while I reposition this camera. Okay, so I repositioned my camera so you all can get a better view of, you know, when I clean my brushes and how I actually clean them. My hand was in the way on the other video, so my arm kept getting in the way because I'm right-handed and I had the camera position on the other side. So I think you guys will be able to get a better view of now when I clean them and get them really, really clean and what, you know, how I clean them. So again... Uh, my dirty brushes are still in this bowl waiting to be cleaned. They've been saturated in the cleaning solution. I still have my uh, Dove soap in this little cap to use a brush. And I have my brush cleaner mat. So I have everything positioned the way I like it to clean my brushes. Everything is in my sink, in the bowl. And I can just work from there. So I turn my water back on. What I like to start out doing is making sure this is still saturated. And what I'm going to do is add another little squirt of this Aquaphor wash and shampoo. Add about three more squirts of that in the soap, the, the uh, Dove soap. Because again, I like the Aquaphor because it doesn't lather up like Dawn detergents. So it does really good on your brushes in case anyone wants to know which one I'm using. And it is the sensitive, tear-free um, solution so with that then I start to clean my brushes I like to kind of go around the soap with the solution and the shampoo and then what I do is I take my scrubbing mat and just scrub any excess dirt out of the brushes and that pretty much does it and then I have my mat over here Next to my coffee, I've been drinking coffee this morning, so that's why you see my mug. I still have a little bit of coffee in there. Um, drinking it while I was prepping for this video. So now, this brush is ready to be dried out on my towel. So I like to just sit them on the towel flat. And I'll do the same thing for my next couple of brushes. All my brushes wrapped. <coughs> Sorry. Then I'll take it. Do the same thing and as you can see the soap from when they were saturated in the brush and the solution here is actually in already in the brushes so you're really just scrubbing and washing solution out and now like I said again I like it because it doesn't lather up like up, like soap does and you have to worry about so much um, product and build up from soap in your brushes and then again I'll take this and it's a repeated process for every brush that needs to be cleaned and normally I clean my brushes like every day um because I really don't like cleaning them and by the time you wait for so long to clean them you're stuck in the kitchen or wherever you're trying to clean them in the bathroom for hours um trying to get 50 and 60 brushes clean so I try to clean them but I do, not for the most part, I clean them after every use. I'm surprised they're not worn out, but they've been doing pretty good holding up in the water and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> so these signs is like aggravating me today. Then, going with some of these blending brushes. Now, some of them may not come completely white and clean because of pigments and shadows and stuff that comes... You know, with blending and adding product to the brushes, but for the most part, they are actually clean and sanitized pretty good after I do this thorough cleaning. At least that's my opinion. Um, and here's one of my little eyeliner brushes, a little more Laura Mercier brush. And I just, I love these little, little angle brushes. And these are the brushes I was speaking of earlier when I was saying that you should make sure you, especially make sure you saturate these little tools in the solution so it can kind of loosen up and that way you won't have a hard time when it's time to wash the product off. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue cleaning the brushes.
And I love doing it in my, in this in the bathroom sink because the water's not running everywhere. Um, and I can actually put everything in this bowl within reach. Um, I do like to clean them in the bedroom bathroom. So. I'm just trying to show you as much as I can as possible with cleaning these brushes while trying to get them cleaned in a good amount of time. And I also make sure my um, I like to make sure my handles are clean as well because sometimes when you're playing with makeup or doing your makeup, your brushes can have residue all over the handle, which I do not like um, because it tends to rub off uh, on your hands and stuff, and potentially whatever you're working on, it smears. I've done it before, and it actually smeared into what I was doing on my face or on my hand because it was on the handle of the brush. So I'm good at trying to make sure I clean the, the brush as well, the handle of the brush. For the most part, a lot of these brushes are getting cleaned pretty, pretty good with the solution. Again, like I said, there's no residue buildup in soap that you have to worry about. Continue to squeeze out when you use products like the ones I'm using now that does not have, you know, like a lot of soap in it that cause buildup from the soap. And this brush actually had makeup down the handle, which is what I was speaking of earlier. When I said I have to make sure the brushes um, are free from makeup on the handle.
And again, like I said, I like to clean them after each use. That way I don't have as many brushes that needs to be cleaned. So this is a tedious process, but it's a necessary process. So, <coughs> I'm sorry. So I um, would encourage you to clean your brushes after each application. Especially for the um, sanitation of the brushes and also your skin. Because I, I don't I do not like to use brushes that are filled with product from a prior application. Only because to me the brush does not perform the way I would like it to because it's full of product already. And then the other downside of it is if I'm trying to use other colors and I want to use that brush and I have not cleaned it, I have a fear that <clears throat> whatever colors I'm trying to use that day may not be the colors I used the prior day. And I'm afraid that the color will transition in with the color I used in a prior application to what I'm currently trying to do or whatever look I'm trying to come up with I start seeing that color or whatever I was using in with my current look and I do not want that to happen so I um, try to keep them clean as much as possible and if I don't clean them after each use I store them again like I say in my bowl that you saw at the beginning of the video and I move over to brushes I have not used that are clean. So I have a ton of brushes for that reason because I'm a, uh, um, I'm really particular about putting stuff in my face like that is not sanitized because I my skin will break out fairly easy and I have very sensitive skin. So I have to be very cautious on what I put on my face. And one of them are dirty brushes that I don't like. So I know I'm just rambling, but I'm trying to <laughs> conversate a little bit um, while I complete the rest of these brushes for you all. I'm almost done. For more to go, we can get through this together. Like I said, I know it's a tedious process, but it's a needed process um, to keep your tools free of makeup and again, stuff that could potentially break you out. Up on it. I'm going to pour out this water that came from the brushes being soaked. I'm going to try to finish the last couple of brushes.
Okay, so at the dawn, cleaning all of my brushes. So now I'm going to just clean the containers and um, stuff that I use so it will be ready for my next cleaning once I use my brushes again. Um, and again, I like to do this that way everything is nice and sanitary for me to use um, and to keep my face from breaking out due to um, dirty brushes and, you know, that have product build up inside of it that should have been cleaned out of it. Um, and what I do, I just throw these three items in my beauty room next to my brushes. So um, as I use them, I just stick them in the bowl and keep moving. Um, again, like I said, I normally clean them every day after usage, but if I'm in a crunch, I may not. But the most I'll go is at least two days and I clean them no more than that. Because I don't like the build up of having so many that needs to be cleaned. So I'm going to run my sponges back through water once, one more time. Just to um, make sure the product is out of them. And I'm going to actually stick them in the glass bowl um, that I had my brushes in so they can dry. Wow, didn't expect that to happen. And they are nice and um, clean. You don't have any soot bubbles trapped in the middle of the sponge, which can be tragic when you're doing makeup application. Okay, so let me go ahead and rinse my hands off. Okay, so now I am done with cleaning my brushes. You all see how I cleaned them. I'm not sure if you can see them over here. They're all placed nicely, ready to be dried. So what I'm going to do now, you can see I kind of like have them all. Um, sorry, my camera's acting a fool. I have them all laid out and ready to dry. So what I'm going to do now is move them back to my beauty room, and I will be back with you guys in a few. Okay, so now I am back. I have all of my brushes still wrapped in the towel from the bathroom where I cleaned them. And what I'm going to do is just unroll them because I like to press down on them, kind of soak up more of the water so they can start drying and cleaning. Not cleaning, I'm sorry, drying so they can be ready for use. So what I like to do is just unravel my towel and just turn them standing up where they have room to dry on the towel um, so they can completely dry and have a little space between them on my vanity in my beauty room. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so now they're ready to dry and they're not really super soaked wet anymore because the towel kind of soaked up some of the water but they're not completely dry either but for example, and they're actually cleaned and ready for usage when they completely dry, so they clean pretty good. Um, you just have to fluff them back out once they completely dry, so they'll be ready to be used. Okay, so now I have them how I want them so they can dry out. Now again, it may take 24 hours. It may take a day or so to completely dry but I probably won't touch these brushes anymore until what's today Wednesday no today is Tuesday I don't know what I'm thinking I probably won't use them until Thursday so what I'll do is go on my other stash of brushes that I have and use those but these are completely dry so if I'm trying to do my makeup just say for example tomorrow I'll just pull these up in the morning stick them in a container together so I'll know these are the dresses that brushes that needs to be completely dry. Then here I have my facial um, cloths. I bought all these from Amazon to remove makeup. I clean these on a weekly. On Sundays, I wash them in the washing machine and they are really good for removing makeup. So this is like a weekly thing for me when it comes to my face 
cloths. I use, I only use these on my face. I don't use regular washcloths to remove makeup um, because I destroyed so many washcloths in the past trying to do remove makeup. But these are really, really good at removing makeup. So this is my sanitation for my brushes. And then my sponges are here drying in the same bowl that we cleaned them in. I just let them sit here. Um, and then I'll damp them again if they're not still wet by the time I, I'm ready to do my makeup. So this is my complete brush cleaning routine. So I hope you all found this helpful uh, and easy to do and to set up to make sure that the brushes are sanitized and clean. Um, until next time, thank you for watching my video. If you like the content on my channel, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.